24. Our final one of the night, Justin McCoy, the graduate student, will get the nod here for Virginia. He'll take on David Hussey, the rookie. This will be the fourth match of the year for Hussey. Another one of those tweener kids between 165 and 174. Jack Wimmer continues to be injured for Duke, so no Wimmer tonight at 174. And it's McCoy, 12-2 and two on the year. A win tonight would be his 80th career victory. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch Justin McCoy. It's tough for Hussey. This is going to be a good opportunity for him to go against one of the best wrestlers in the country, ranked 14th. He's going to... You'll see why he's ranked this high in this match, but Hussey has to use this, and he'll look at this tape a lot after this to see what makes McCoy so good, what makes him at this weight level one of the best in the ACC and one of the best in college wrestling. And that's just sometimes you got to take your lumps. But what's that old adage? Iron sharpens iron. Exactly. Exactly. And going up against the best is how you get better. And, you know, sometimes you just draw, you know, one of the best. And I remember in high school, I went out there and uh, we had something called, you know, there's for private schools, there's college prep nationals. Yeah. And um, my coach, we looked across the mat. He went to Gonzaga High School. He took, I think, third at college prep nationals. My coach was just like, hey, just go out, last as long as you can. Yeah. And that was the goal because he, we knew he had that, he has that advantage. He's one of the best in the country at that weight class but you know you have an opportunity to get a small victory and try and you know and go up against one of the best and four more points here on the back points and yeah and, and for for us you're going up against the guy who was the acc champion at 165 last year three-time ncaa qualifier he was an ncaa qualifier last year for his fourth straight bid i mean it's, it's a guy who's got aspirations not just winning an acc title but contending at nationals as well and you talk about Hussey looking at the tape I imagine McCoy will go back and study a lot of film in preparation of his next ACC match oh yeah for McCoy he's trying to get another ACC title and do it on nine pounds heavier mm -hmm. which is always a challenge and I feel like they take it as a challenge they're like okay I won 165 I got to do it at the next level Hussey trying to get to neutral here Trying for a reversal. And look at Hussey bringing McCoy back. McCoy. He's got him in the right position, but can he finish it? That's the question. McCoy trying to fight it off here. 24 seconds to go in the period. And the flexibility of McCoy is showing off right now. And when you're able to just drop into a split to get your other leg away, it's a very good technique for defense. Must be nice. I couldn't do that. I couldn't either. I don't even think a lot of the wrestlers here could. I don't even know that I would try to do that, Nick, if I'm being honest with you. Might tear something. A lot of things. <laughs> I probably wouldn't be able to walk for a few days. 10-1 to 1 the lead for McCoy after the opening period. And Hussey got to a position he liked. He was able to get to that single leg as we look at one of the takedowns from McCoy. But Hussey was able to get an opportunity there, which was more than he might have expected coming into this one. He's just got to look at that again on the better way to finish that single leg and finish when he's got that ankle. Um, he tried to go for a kick. McCoy kept his leg away, but... Um, would have rather seen him drop down and try and get the other angle to at least ankle to at least bring McCoy to the mat. Final 100 seconds of this second period. McCoy would probably like to end it here in period number two, leading by 10. And three more points there. 14 to one. And they'll get back to neutral here. That was a good job by McCoy. He gets the takedown, but he keeps his foot in to keep, you know, everything going so he could get the three points. Once he got the three, slip the leg out. Let's get back to the middle position. A chance to add three more points here. Hussey choosing bottom here, looking for the one point.
Ooh. Almost a great yes. reversal there from Hussey. McCoy wasn't expecting the switch. And, and we talked earlier in the match about, you know, small victories, right? And that, that can be one for, for Hussey, the, rest, uh, the rookie. Definitely can. Really liked that move. He wasn't able to fully finish through, but those are going to be the things that he learns. And like you said, trial by fire, iron sharpens iron. These are the things that are going to get him better. 12-point lead for McCoy. Gets three more points, and that will do it. A clean sweep for the Cavaliers tonight as they down the Blue Devils in the ACC opener. Uh, Nick, just closing thoughts as we wrap things up this evening. Well, UVA is coming into their own. They're getting healthy. They're not even fully healthy, but this is how good they can be. And just look for McCoy to lead this team into ACCs. And, you know, they could take some weight classes you're not expecting if they're able to get fully healthy. Yeah, a healthy Virginia team that's finally starting to put it together as ACC play begins. The Cavaliers.